Well, I'm back out in my backyard at Chaco, my little lake behind me, and I love it. Then the weather has been gorgeous. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about my Chaco neighbor, James Earl. You know, sometimes he can be diplomatic, but those rare periods of diplomacy, I think, are purely accidental. I, I believe if he were the, the head in negotiation on any kind of a peace, trade, or mercy mission, he could manage without any trouble at all to start a shooting war between two identical twins who think the same thing about everything. Now, you take the case of James Earl's recent conversation with another neighbor at Chaco the other day. Now, I want to be as Christian as I can about this. Sort of a sensitive situation. I won't say that the neighbor's wife and only daughter are homely. But if I was a betting man, I'd bet against their ever winning any kind of a beauty contest <laughs> for a man or a beast. <laughs> but the man loved them, like we all do our families. Well, James Earl saw the neighbor walking down the road to, the other day carrying two Arkansas bred hogs, one under each arm. And James Earl stopped to talk with the man and said, boy, those are really fine looking pigs. And the neighbor glared at James Earl and said, those are not pigs. Those are hogs, fine bred, Arkansas bred special hogs. And James Earl shrugged his shoulders and said, well, I believe you're right. Those, those are fine looking hogs. And the man smiled with pride and said, well, thank you. I appreciate you telling me that. You see this one here? He held up the pig under his right arm. He said, I got this one for my wife. And then he nodded to the hog on his left and said, I got this one for my daughter. And James Earl looked at the man with admiration and said, well, I can say this for you. You made outstanding trades on both of them. <laughs> well, now, the new knots on James Earl's head aren't too big. I don't, I don't think it's because the neighbor wasn't strong enough to make them bigger. It's just that James Earl's head's so hard. Now, he still don't know what he said. He caused so much commotion. He told me that some people are just hard to figure out and don't know how to accept compliments. That boy never ceases to amaze me. I'm Jim Ritchie. I'll see you again next time.